Ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy, I got some unfortunate news to remind you about yet again. Your empire is in shambles. Look at Gary. The way he's staring into your eyes with sadness. All those poor troopers who died on the Death Star because of rebel terrorists. But today, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be talking about is something that kind of came to my realization because of the military might challenge tier two event for the rebels that we're going to be showcasing in a second for a very specific reason we'll get to it in a moment but what i want to talk about before we hop into that topic that's going to lead us into our gameplay is kind of keeping on to that topic of why we think so there's some imperial reworks our new empire characters and something that's kind of blending it all together i know this month is the farm boy Luke logging a word. He made a whole video talking about that the other day. But what blends in the current theme? Right now, we're getting Mandalorian characters that kind of been trickling through. We're starting to get slow amounts of love for Empire Strikes Back. What bridges the gap? And I feel like we haven't talked about it so much in this channel. I want to see Moff Gideon come to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. He kind of blends those two things perfectly. Of course, he wasn't an Empire Strikes Back, but it serves two purposes. One, making the Empire actually look as strong as they did in Empire Strikes Back. None of this garbage that's happening to our troopers in the game. They murdered my boys. And furthermore, it kind of builds upon the Mandalorian. Now, I don't know if Moff Gideon's going to fit into the equation anytime soon, because it looks like we're still waiting for two other characters to complete the Mando squad, but sometime down the road, I can't imagine Capital Games never adding Moff Gideon. And there's two very important things that Moff Gideon kind of brings to the table for me, and you kind of see it behind him. Death Trooper, our boy Derek, and of course, Gary, the Stormtrooper. These two characters alone, I think they just need a little bit of a minor touch-up. Death Trooper right here. We know that Krennic Guard, it shouldn't be called Krennic Guard. It's just be called Imperial Guard or something like that. Elite Guard, something of that sort. So it's not contained to Director Krennic. Omit Director Krennic. Anytime there's an Empire leader, you can trigger this unique ability. That's all you need for Death Trooper so he can be like a B2 battle droid. That's all we need. And of course, poor Gary. His Zeta on his unique ability needs to be a little bit different. He should have more offense for more Imperials on the field or create like a B1 type of battalion for the wall of stormtroopers the more wall of stormtroopers the more defense your empire gets something of that sort but why am i talking about this right now i'm not gonna make this a pure speculation video right now the reason why this kind of dawned to me i was playing military might on my own and i was trying out cara dune yes a character we have not talked too much about mando grief kind of stealing the cake for all the action the more recent characters we've gotten i haven't found anything too crazy with Cara Dune, except maybe a combo with Django Fett Lee. She works okay in some scoundrel lines, but it hasn't really blown my mind out of the water. She's just an okay character. But once I started going to Military Might Tier 2, I was like, holy cow. This ability writer, Improvised Strategy, she stun locks the Garbanzo Beans out of the Empire. And right now in the game, there is no Empire meta. Dark Side Genos and Terra Trails, really no Imperials there, of course. It's going to be our Light Side Genos and Terra Trails, I should say. Really, the only thing you might get benefit out of her right now, to a good extent, is Light Side Hoth Terra Trails. And that's something not a lot of people are engaging in, but it's still definitely something for a lot of people who are new and, co new and coming to be playing around with. Let's hop over to Challenge Tier 2 and show you this gameplay and talk a bit more about this. We speculated a little bit that Cara Dune kind of points to some sort of fact that we should be getting some sort of Empire characters, whether Moff Gideon, Imperial Rebux, because right now Cara Dune by herself, she has all these awesome <laughs> anti-Empire stuff, but not a lot of places to check it out. So let's go ahead and rerun this. I ran it on my device, my my uh, my portable Imperial data pad. I'm like, hold on, let's make a video and talk about this because I, I've shown Moff Gideon, not Moff Gideon, I wish I showed Moff Gideon, I've showed, uh, 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 what's his face? Uh, we showed, uh, my goodness, the name slipping me, we, Mando and Grief. We showed Mando and Grief in their respective challenge tiers. And I feel like I haven't really talked a lot about Cara Dune ever since the release, but this is going to be the event where you are really going to see her shine. In a moment, we're going to be able to throw her AOE and like this whole team's going to be stunned. Like I'm trying to stall this out, not try to kill anyone. So, oh, well, there we go. Oh, there goes the counterattack. Here we go. Watch. We should be able to stun like this whole entire team. Uh, we removed 50% turn, rate, which is kind of the, the main thing about our kit, in my opinion. And Empire enemies are stunned for one turn. Let's go ahead and throw it. And bam! I mean, and remember, if they're resisting, you're feeding Terminator to the Rebels through the Commander Luke lead. So this is something that I can't imagine. Look at that. We're already transitioning into a second turn with her. I can't imagine that she has all this anti-Empire stuff just to be cute. There's got to be something building up 
in the future that's going to be leading Cara Dune to be a more logical character because I can't imagine them designing this character solely for military might maybe this is going to pair in with their new game mode they're working on maybe this new game mode that they're working on road ahead this month fingers crossed this road ahead they're working on maybe you're going to want to have Cara Dune because there's going to be a lot of Imperials normally in a lot of PvE type of battles like those hard uh, light side missions you see Imperials there so that might be where it's going to kick it here we go throwing the fat AoE Boom! Look at that! The whole entire Team Sun, the only other character that can do something of this caliber is Emperor Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine is the only one that really a mass AoE stun quite like this. Holy cow, look at this. Cara Dune just going in there. Look at this again. Look at this. Another one. Here we go. Throwing it in. Bam! Holy cow. This, I, I was never able to showcase this in our early testing because who cares about Empire on defense? I mean, we kind of speculate that, you know, someone tries to throw an Imperial Troopers up against Kara. They're probably going to get slaughtered because of her constant AoEs and her constant Terminator removal and her constant stuns, as we're seeing right here. So this is why I, I want to make the video, one, to showcase Kara Dune a little bit because people have been impressed of Mando and Grief, but I feel like we all kind of forgotten about Kara Dune. And I feel like on paper, because she crosses two factions, the Scoundrels and the Rebels, she should have a lot of potential. Bam! Look at this! These fools! Look at these poor Imperials right here. We're slaughtering our own brothers right now in the field. I feel like we could put Sonato. This is challenge tier two, and this has actually uh, got a, quite a decent amount of difficulty. I mean, right now, I think some of the more difficult ones are like Rebel Roundup, for example. Uh, Military Might can definitely be up there, even for a fully uh, well-made uh, CLS. It, it could be difficult, but I was able to blow through this before I made this video and I was like hold on let's back up the phone a little bit and talk about this a little bit more so there we go and really her AoE stuns are incredibly important because it's minimizing the amount of damage coming onto the team and because there's a rebel ally uh in, in the spot or the rebel leader she's gonna taunt so she really reduces the amount of damage going on Chewie, Han, CLS, C3 Peels even if she does die before we get to the final wave our teams should have a lot of health that protects because Cara Dune did the job so this is kind of leading into that point again can we expect more Imperial Rubrics? One, because it's Empire Strikes Back celebration. That kind of seems like it's being stalled out. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is normally one of the more challenging tiers before you get to the, the, the challenging waves, before you get to the last one. Cara Dune really shines in here. And again, is she just meant for light side, hot territory battles? I find that kind of difficult. Find that kind of difficult to believe because Capital Games, usually when they make characters, they're making characters designed for more. Look at this. Boom. Gone. They're making characters designed for more of the end game players because end game players probably have a higher tendency uh, to will have been playing for so, so long. And the reason why they probably got to that very end game is because they're whaling. So maybe this will give you guys hope. I really think Moth Gideon would be the perfect kind of segue to bridge Empire Strikes Back and making the Empire faction better. And we know that right now, Capital Games, they're not really in the mood for reworking characters. I Reworks are probably my most favorite thing in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Uh, a character that you kind of invested so much time and resources, a character that you absolutely love. I have to put it on 1X every time we do this. And all of a sudden to get reworked, it's a blessing. It's something that really gets you excited. Moff Gideon, or any other Empire character that matter. I, I'm just kind of bringing up Moff Gideon because I feel like that's kind of a perfect uh, character to kind of discuss this. Moff Gideon, if they don't want to rework the Empire for whatever reason, the Imperial Troopers have a good baseline of functionality that they could possibly work with. Uh, Imperial Troopers really are the shining force of our, our Empire facts right now. Vader's kind of uh, falling behind the times right now, not being as beneficial without his, uh, his Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, but they could do something with Moff Gideon or hopefully maybe even Darth Vader, but that requires a rework again. Let's, let's stick to the point here. What they could do is do something easy, like they did with Shock T, for example, uh, or Genosian and Brood Alpha, where relatively before the reworks happened, Genosians didn't get their reworks right away uh, before uh, or before the, what's it called, the um, Genosian and Brood Alpha got reworked. Same thing as Shock T. Clones didn't get any sort of rework before Shock T got added into the game, but Shock T and Genosian and Brood Alpha, they were able to make incredible work out of those respective factions even if that were heck the video i made beating the accolade battle i believe as well as the the wat tambor battle i can't remember the accolade but for sure the wat tambor mission you're able to beat the wat tambor mission with unreworked genosians at low gear that's how powerful that leader of the the leader ability was 
for Geno's and Brute Alpha so easily. If they add Watembor, or not Watembor, Moff Gideon, or give Darth Vader. I honestly think Darth Vader needs it. The Empire needs reworks across the board of some sort, because one of the biggest things that's lacking for the Empire outside of our Imperial Troopers is actual meaningful damage. Alpha. Like, put together Palpatine, uh, Vader, and then put together, like, uh, TIE Fighter Pilot, Stormtrooper, Short Trooper. Uh, you got good amount of Terminator because of all the debuffs, but man, good luck actually putting out some sort of meaningful damage. That's kind of what the Empire faction is missing as a whole. They have some good control effects. We got the ability blocks, we got the undispellable damage over time. You're doing the Vader lead. You got Palpatine, which is the king of turn meter gain in the game, so long as no uh, debuffs are being prevented. So all they have to do, if they don't want to rework a character, is add Moff Gideon, and that's why Cara Dune just makes me imagine now that we're seeing her kid in full action is absolutely decimating these imperials right here i can't imagine them not adding some sort of look at this bam most of the team stunned right there and she's gonna probably take another turn in a moment i can't imagine that they're not gonna give her any sort of use anywhere in the game uh, besides military might there very well could be a chance they're gonna be adding i don't know they could be adding uh, a rework of some sort because if you see imperials inside of great arena territory wars our territory battles or something of that sort. Boom! Cara Dune is going to be your girl to get the job done. Look at her. I, we might not even lose her. If she dies here, that's perfectly fine. That's her job right here. She was able to stun lock our way all the way to the final wave. That is huge. And for a tank, she actually puts out some fairly decent damage. Luckily, the Rebel Tag boosts her a little bit. She gets the extra uh, damage through her unique ability. Let's see if we can just kind of plow through. Uh, Veers right here. Come on. Can we get a, a good counter attack right here? Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, might lose care in a moment. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's actually save that AoE stun for the next round right here. Beautiful. And now let's move to the next round. We're going into full team of five. Now, without Kara, it's it's quite difficult trying to get in to the last wave here in the challenge tier two with all this. Look at all this health of protection. Kara Dune is fantastic against them. I don't know why I'm that excited about it because right now they're broken. They're they're in shambles in the game right now, and Kara Dune is already destroying them. I can't imagine that they're not preparing Kara for the future. Here we go. I always like to stun Thrawn in this challenge tier two. Then let's go after uh, Emperor Palpatine right here. Let's go ahead and give this over to Honey Boy. Boom, boom. Here we go. Let's see how many stuns we can get here. If we can I don't know if we can stun Palpatine. Probably not, but let's see if we can stun Vader. Here we go. Throw up the AoE. Boom! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Palpatine! Like a taste of your own medicine right there! My gosh, if you guys have done this challenge here, you know exactly how this feels. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we go. Let's get some counterattack. Uh, we should be able to get him out, hopefully, in a moment. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. The amount of work that we're able to get done there. Hopefully, we can get like another AoE and try to showcase that. But look, she's going to be taunting for us for the time. Let's get rid of him. Ba 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 bing. Uh, we got to go be through another uh, Royal Guard in a moment here. Let her take it. That's what a tank is supposed to do. There we go. There goes Palpatine. Let's see if we can try to... All right, we'll save that for a moment. No need to use it for the time being. It probably should have saved our call to action right there. But look at that. Kira did her job in so many different ways. I've never seen a, a, a wave go like that for Challenge Tier 2 in the past. Holy cow. Kara Dune just made that so incredibly easy with, with Thrawn and Palpatine out early. This is just going to be an easy counterattack uh, party right here. Here we go. Get rid of him. Uh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't you guys be this useful? When we we're trying to use your outside this military might of it. My gosh, so much for Royal Guards. And hopefully in a moment, we're going to be able to get rid of Vader. Oh, boy. Okay, Vader's going to go a little crazy on us. And come on. Let's get in here. Come on, Luke and Chewie. Let's do this, buddy. Remove the turn meter. Fantastic. Come on. Stun the boy. Fantastic. Almost there. Come on. And there we go. Got a little messy towards the end there. But as you saw, the power of Cara Dune. AoE stuns are so helpful. But the problem is the reason why I feel like Cara Dune's not in the forefront of our mind is simply because there's not there's not much going on at the Empire. The only time you see these Imperial buddies right here is if you're trying to use them on offense for Grand Array. You guys see me do it. We made a whole video on Imperial Troopers. Actually, just recently got Randy, the Range Trooper, to Relic 7. So they're useful on offense, but you're not going to really see a very competitive defensive Imperial team that you're going to want Cara Dune. Because let me tell you, as we saw right here, Cara Dune is a boost up against Empire units. But is there actually something more to come to make Cara Dune feel a lot more appreciated? That's going to be our video for today, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below. Are you actually impressed with Cara Dune? It's actually funny how much use I've gotten out of these uh, challenges. There's not a lot of place to test out characters in this game. But challenge tier two is very helpful for Mando testing, grief testing. Obviously, today, Cara Dune testing. And just reading this ability, seeing it apply in action. 
I only can imagine in the future a Moff Gideon, some Imperial reworks, or maybe some other new additional Empire characters to celebrate Empire Strikes Back. This might be a character you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for. If there is going to be an Empire meta or at least some sort of top 10 Empire team, this is a character that is probably going to be incredibly helpful as we saw in that last wave. Boom. Stunning the whole team. That is beautiful. I'm no re rebellion loyalist here, but you got to appreciate cool little things like this that I wish the Empire had. We'll see. Here's the hoping that the Empire will see a brighter tomorrow. Maybe Cara Dune's going to be that beacon of hope that the Empire will see a better day. Like if you did enjoy the video, comment down below on all your thoughts. Is there Empire stuff coming? Moff Gideon, a dark server would be really fantastic. And be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll see all you little people in the next video. All right, Gary, roll it out. Peace out, everybody. Peace out, everybody. Jeez, Gary, sometimes I got to tell you multiple times. <laughs> Take an air horn. <laughs>